Let me now ask, we have about five minutes left, as I hear, so let me ask Minister Ben Ali and then Minister Aliou also to talk, if you would, about what your country is doing to take people along on this energy transition. And again, we heard our young uh, speakers at the end of the closing ceremony talking about the crucial impact also for young people. So talk about that a little bit, if you would, please. I go first. Sure. Okay. I'll go Mr. first. Mr. Benelli, please. <laughs> sure. Sure. No, I think the... Uh, thank you very much for this question. I think it's a people-centric question is essential. And I, we heard it at the COP uh, in Glasgow, and we are hearing it today in Berlin. Um, and I think that's something that Siemens was, was saying but when they talk about societal challenge. We need to put a price tag on all this. It's unbearable but we need to put a price tag. So when I say um, that if you want us to flood the market with $2 hydrogen and equivalent of ammonia, we can do that. I mean, our one-stop shop here can definitely give you uh, the, the, the certificates of origin for a tradable green certificates for uh, green hydrogen, access to inf information on investment opportunities, etc., stable regulatory framework, etc., etc. We are already connected to Europe. Morocco is already has uh, a couple of electricity lines to Spain. We are working on a third one. We are also working on an interconnection with Portugal, potentially with the UK, and we also have a pipeline, a gas pipeline between Morocco and, and Spain. So we are already there in terms of connectivity. What it means now is that we need to put a price on all this, a price, sorry, on the negative externalities and, and a cost on those negative externalities, and hopefully some incentive incentives on a positive externalities for those who are able to accompany us in this energy transition. We like to do it discreetly, we like to do it efficiently, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm launching, I'm hearing really putting a call for, let's stop using colors, and our friends Francesco La Camera, I see it here, uh, if we can put, start to put some numbers, it will help the financial community uh, speak the same language as the policymakers, and it will enable us to push through those projects for the benefits of the people within Europe and within the countries that are at the outskirts of Europe who are playing a leading role in this energy transition. So we really want to utilize the underutilized or non-utilized infrastructure that we already have that was built in the 20th century to, to cater for 19th century fuels, I agree with you. But that comes with the, with the cost as well, and we have to internalize those, those costs. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll finish with the, the final word on, uh, on leapfrogging. We're always asked to leapfrog to uh, green hydrogen and green ammonia. Definitely, what we are trying to do is to rebuild our infrastructure, be it electricity systems, gas infrastructure, to enable them to be future-proofed for hydrogen and ammonia for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.